when machines work instead of humans at an unbelievable level. In the darkness of night, beneath the cold blue glow of hundreds of industrial LED lights, colossal steel machines move in perfect rhythm, like a living organism made of metal. No workers, no voices, only the thunder of engines, the grind of gears, and the slicing wind from tireless robotic arms in motion. Everything unfolds in flawless harmony, fast, precise, emotionless, and utterly without error. A single robotic arm can weld 200 joints per minute with a deviation of less than 0.01 millimeters. A conveyor system transports 30,000 components per hour without ever stopping. Smart tools are programmed to self-diagnose, self-adjust, and self-optimize using the data they gather in real time. This is where machines don't just work for humans, they perform at a level beyond what humans ever could. In the smart factories of the 21st century, day and night no longer exist. Automation systems run 24-7, no rest, no hunger, no fatigue. When one line stops due to a fault, another system automatically reroutes and compensates. When a robot detects an anomaly, it corrects itself within milliseconds, no human intervention required. This is efficiency that surpasses every standard of labor the world has ever known. And perhaps the most astonishing thing isn't the raw power of these machines, but the silent intelligence driving them. Every decision, from adjusting cutting speed to controlling pressure to distributing energy, is the result of millions of calculations executed in the blink of an eye. These systems don't just work, they understand their tasks, learn from their errors, and evolve with every cycle. When you watch such a production line in motion, it feels as if you're witnessing the dawn of a new civilization, one where steel, data, and energy fuse together into the heartbeat of the future. Gone are the hammer-wielding workers and the sweat-stained foreheads. What remains is the cold brilliance of laser light and the roar of machinery echoing through space. Yet behind that seemingly mechanical perfection, you can still sense the presence of the human mind, the engineers, the designers, the dreamers who once dared to ask, can machines do it better than we can? The answer is right before our eyes. Machines don't just have the potential, they're already doing it. Operating at levels of precision, speed, and efficiency that once defied imagination. They don't sleep, they don't eat, they never tire, and they never stop evolving. But in a world where machines can do everything for us, one question rings louder and deeper than ever before. If machines can do it all, what's left for humans to do? The answer lies in what comes next, as we uncover the true secret of technological power and why it's humans, not machines, who remain the real driving force of the future. To understand what allows these machines to operate beyond imagination, we must step into the heart of modern technology, where data, artificial intelligence, and precision engineering merge into a single, living ecosystem. The concept of the standalone machine is gone. In today's smart factories, hundreds, even thousands of factory machines are connected within a seamless network. They communicate constantly, just like cells in a living body. This is no longer manual control. This is automation technology at its peak, a form of mechanical instinct, born from human intelligence and executed through deep learning algorithms. In this world, every movement is tracked by data temperature sensors, pressure gauges, force monitors, sound detectors, even the scent of heated metal, all are captured and sent to a centralized processing hub where industrial AI analyzes millions of variables in real time. And when even a single metric shifts by as little as 0.0001 from the standard, the system reacts instantly. No hesitation, no discussion, no emotion. Only pure logic only efficiency perfected. 
When humans get tired, machines keep running. When humans make mistakes, machines correct themselves. When humans rest, machines keep learning. That's the difference between a mere tool and a truly intelligent system. An industrial machine today doesn't just follow commands, it understands objectives. It doesn't just perform, it responds, learns, and optimizes. And behind it all still lies the human hand and the human mind. Engineers have infused these creations with a philosophy. Performance isn't just a number, it's an art. Modern automation systems can now analyze their own performance over time, predict failures before they occur, and distribute power dynamically across entire machine clusters. A factory today can sense when it needs to rest, when to accelerate, and when to reorganize its own workflow for maximum efficiency. In other words, it lives, it thinks, it evolves. And that is the deeper meaning of technology, not to eliminate humans, but to expand human capability. We no longer endure endless repetition. We no longer face the dangers of harsh environments. Instead, we stand behind control panels, reading streams of data, conducting an entire industrial orchestra with the touch of a finger. Because machines know how to work, but only humans know why. And that will forever be the boundary between steel and intelligence. No machine ever created itself. No system ever became intelligent on its own. Everything begins with an idea, a dream, a restless drive from those who refuse to be satisfied with good enough. From the steam engine to self-learning robots, humanity has always asked the same question, how can we make it better? These industrial machines are not our replacements, they are reflections of the human mind, mirrors of our passion, precision, and relentless pursuit of perfection. When a robot welds a seam with micron-level accuracy, it carries the weight of decades of research. When an automation system fine-tunes itself automatically, it's the result of millions of lines of code written by engineers who poured patience, logic, and creativity into every command. Technology hasn't taken work away from humanity. It has given us freedom. Freedom from exhaustion, freedom from monotony, and most importantly, freedom to create, to think, and to design the future. Once, workers stood in the roar of engines, hammers in hand, forging steel through sweat and fire. Today, they sit before glowing screens, controlling entire smart factories with their minds. Instead of burning energy, we now burn ideas. Instead of being consumed by production, we create production itself. We haven't lost our role, we've evolved. We are no longer manual laborers, we are architects of process, no longer servants of machines, but the ones who shape how machines serve the world. Technology only becomes powerful when it carries the breath of humanity within it. A production line can run endlessly through the night, but it means nothing without someone to give it purpose. A robot can learn endlessly, but only humans can dream. And it's that dream, not the code, that fuels every step of human progress. Every robotic motion, every stream of system data is an echo of human intelligence, resonating across generations. Machines exist for one reason only, to prove that there are no limits to human creativity. The roar of hundreds of engines rises like the drumbeat of an industrial symphony. Under the stark white light of lasers, steel burns bright. Robotic arms move in perfect synchronization, each motion interlocking seamlessly with the next in absolute precision. A production line stretches for hundreds of meters. No delay, no error, not a single wasted movement. This is the pinnacle of engineering, where machines work in place of humans at a level that once seemed impossible. The scene feels both cold and magnificent. Cold because there are no people in sight, only metallic beings working tirelessly in silence, yet magnificent because that silence was created by people, forged through intellect, through dreams, and through the undying pursuit of perfection. And within that mechanical music, we realize the ultimate truth. Technology isn't here to replace us, it's here to elevate us, not to push us back, but to propel us forward. Not to make us weaker, but to let us focus on the things only humans can do create, to imagine, and to dream. Because no matter how powerful it becomes, technology will always lack the one thing that gives it meaning, purpose. 
Only humans can define why. Only humans can ask what's next. So the next time you see a factory machine in action, remember, behind that motion lies millions of hours of human effort, of learning, testing, failing, and trying again from those who dared to dream of the impossible. It was humans who created technology, humans who taught machines to surpass physical limits, and it will always be humans, not machines, who define the shape of the future. If you believe in the power of intellect, innovation, and imagination, like, share, and subscribe to journey deeper into the world of engineering technology and automation systems, where machines move with purpose and data dances to the rhythm of human genius. Because in the end, the future isn't built from steel or code, it's built from human will, from those who dare to dream, to create, and to challenge the impossible. Machines don't define the future, people do.